One of the challenges that young pastors often face earlier on in ministry is the challenge of growing their church with limited financial resources. Now, in this video, Pastor George Izunwa sheds light on how to grow your church or how to grow a mega church even with limited resources. And he shares his knowledge from his wealth of experience gained over the years of pastoring and building thriving ministries all over the country and beyond. As you watch this video, pay attention to the details and I believe that the Holy Spirit is going to guide you into all truth and is going to help you to get the best out of this video and apply it in your life in Jesus name. The first one is how to break America growth barrier with limited resources. Yes, yes sir. Every time you don't have money, have sense. Every time you don't have money, have what? You need creativity. And creativity takes a lot of thinking. All I tell people, I said it to my pastors this morning in the retreat we had. I said, any pastor that will spend two hours in a week thinking about his assignment will never have a small church. I didn't say two hours every day. Just two hours in a week. If you can spend two hours thinking about your assignment, you can have a small church. Money or no money, if you think hard enough, you'll find a way. You will find a way. The problem is that people give up before they try. They just tell themselves, what can I do? There is no money. But I've given you an illustration here before. And there are people who are physically here now that can tell you the truth. When Gateway started, I was single. I didn't have a wife. But I wanted the church not to be full of only young people. I, many of the people that were with me were single. My dream was to have married people start coming to church. Now, as a single, preaching on marriage is not always easy. But I had to do it as a pastor. Because I'm preaching Bible, not experience. Come on, are you with me? The Bible didn't say what you have experienced preach. It said, preach the word. So I'm preaching the word. So I said, we're going to have marriage seminars. We're going to be having couples dinner. Now, I wasn't a couple. But uh, I had about eight or so persons in church at that time who were married. That's not quite a many. Are you with me? are you with me so that's about 16 human beings and all of that and we didn't have the resources there was a gym at that time on this uh, road called renaissance many of you that old new port Harcourt don't know the gym but it was about the first gym in port Harcourt, renaissance by Kala area here now they were not using the place on sundays they don't come they do saturday but they don't know sunday so I went to the people and I approached them, can we use here for your Sunday song? Because it wasn't just a gym. They rent it out to people used to hall for programs and all of that. Saturday evening, Sundays and all of that. They said, okay. And they gave us at a cheap rate, since it's a church and they're not using it on Sunday, just get us fuel and all of that and we're going to allow you and we will use the place. And one of my people was walking there so he talked to them and then they agreed to give us that favor. So we came in to use the place. Question is, how do you fund it? I didn't have a way to fund it. If I get all the money we have in church, we won't be able to get that done. And so we decided, I, I just had an idea. The idea was very simple, very simple. I looked at the different eight families and said, ah, you know, when we go to this program, I want to know which one of these women can actually cook well. I said, there's going to be a competition for cooking. You, you are going to have one table. You want table. You want table. You want table. Each of you are going to host our guests. And then we'll check who of you brought the best food. This and that. I just made that comment. People laughed about it. And they were challenged. And each one owned their table. That, that day, everybody invited their friends because the man that cooked food wants his friends to see what quality of food they brought. You are not hearing me. So families fill the place. The first day, families fill the place. And these women, 
and their husbands, their husbands make sure that nobody will fall the hand of their family. They cooked well. Put that came with good plate, served. Each person, can you imagine that I didn't drop one cup of all the drink, all the food, everything each family provided. When we finished, we thanked them, prayed for them. And I said, next month, we are coming back here again and all of that. I said, these people have done this and all of that. Some other people were there. The ones that did this one said, we are doing it again. Some newcomers said, I will do next time. Before you knew it, everybody, the next month again was said. The next month again. We kept going there and kept going there until church was filled with adults, married people. And money was not spent. So if you don't get money, get sense. Praise the Lord. Use creativity. Prayerfully, God will show you what to do. Because this thing can work. Amen. Amen. Okay, so if you think, you will think of something. And then he was talking about the church, not talking about the economy situation. Welcome to City Magnet TV, a platform where we share life transforming content to help you grow in your walk with God. Please ensure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel and share this video to be a blessing to others.